All right. Well, then with that, the hour being set at 30, I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting of the technology meeting to order. Um, a fiscal quorum of the members is not present. However, pursuant to Section 7E of the Open Meetings Act, members are permitted to attend remotely. Pete, can you go ahead and mute your line, please? Thank you. All right. Either one of the committee, the chief administrative officer or our chief legal counsel are physically present at the regular meeting location. In attendance, in-person attendance and public comments are allowed subject to the attendance limitations required to ensure public health and safety of those who attend. Pursuant to the Illinois Attorney General's guidance to public bodies on the Open Meetings Act during the COVID-19 pandemic dated July 2nd, 2020, county board members may participate without being physically present in compliance with the established provisions. All right, can we have a roll call, please? Adam. Here. Berlin. Here. Carrier. Here. Chavez. Uh, yeah. Here. Here. Eppa. Here. Hart. Here. Henry. Here. Mendrick. Here. Rutledge. Here. Salmon. Here. White. All Great, thank you so much. Just very, very briefly under Chairman's remarks, I don't think I remember the last time we've had a committee this full. Um, so I feel a little hopeful seeing everyone feeling more comfortable coming back. I know we're getting there, even though it feels a little slow. So that's just very exciting. Um, next is public comment. Do we have any comments today? No. Okay, sure. great. Yeah, right. Next is approval of minutes. Oh, Second, Chavez. Great, thank you. Are there any comments, questions, discussion on the previous minutes? All right, seeing none, roll call, please. Rutledge. Aye. Bellman. Aye. White. Aye. Adams. Aye. Berlin. Aye. Carrier. Aye. Chavez. Aye. Luciani. Aye. Eckhoff. Aye. Hart. Aye. Henry. Aye. Henry. Aye. All aye. Okay, thank you. That motion passes. Next up is budget transfers. Um, we are looking for a budget transfer budget adjustment total of $7,565 from benefit payments account to the following. So we're allocating to regular salaries, to overtime, to employee share IMRF, employee share Social Security, and then employee medical and hospital insurance to cover split payroll entries for fiscal year and November, 3rd, 20, November 30th, 2020. So moved. Second. Great, thank you. Any comments or questions on this item? All right, seeing none, can we have a roll call, please? Hart. Aye. Henry. Aye. Mendrick. Aye. Rutledge. Aye. Bellman. Aye. White. Aye. Adam. Aye. Berlin. Aye. Carrier. Aye. Chavez. Aye. Luciani. Aye. Echo. Aye. All aye. Great. Thank you. Okay, just for a oh, yes, please. Uh -huh. Is that for voting purposes? Your camera had to be on under the Open Meeting Act. Um, um, special I mean, rules for the governor. It says you need to be able to identify the person who's uh, participating. My, I am not aware of any reg rules that say vote cameras required to be on. Generally, I recommend people to be on. Okay, I just want to make sure we're following the rules. Yes. All right. Thank you, Member Chaplet. Yeah, as a reminder, um, I think that's been the standard we've tried to hold since we got these new rules early this spring. So if you're voting, try to turn your camera on. And I know we have some new members of the committee, so if we're still having issues getting the right tech to make sure these new meetings are working for you, just please reach out and we'll be able to help you out. All right, thank you, Member Chaplain. So on to procurement requisitions, item A, 2021-18, recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to SHI International Corp for the annual maintenance and support of Palo Alto firewalls for the DuPage County network for a period of March 15th, 2021 through March 14th, 2021 for a total contract amount of $29,240.84. Second. Great. Any questions, comments, discussion on this item? 
right. Seeing none, roll call, please. Aye. 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 Hart. Aye. Henry. Aye. Hendrick. Aye. Rutledge. Aye. Bellman. Aye. White. Aye. Adam. Aye. Berlin. Aye. Carrier. Aye. Chavez. Aye. All aye. Great. Thank you. Item is approved. Move on to item B, 2021-19, recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to Kinsey and Kinsey Inc. for professional services to perform a review of the county's Infor Larson, Lawson Enterprise Resource Planning Software. This contract covers the period of February 24th, 2021 through November 30th, 2021 for an amount of $22,400. Any? We have a motion and a second by Member DeCiani. Do we have any questions, comments, discussion on this item? I have a comment. Mm -hmm. The only is highly supportive of this and we need to ask the questions about that. Great, thank you. Are there any other comments or questions before we get going on a roll call vote here? All right, seeing none, roll call please. Portland. Aye. Bellman. Aye. White. Aye. Adam. Aye. Berlin. Aye. Carrier. Aye. Chavez. Aye. Luciani. Aye. Eckhoff. Aye. Hart. Aye. Henry. Aye. Mendrick. Aye. All ayes. Okay, thank you. The item is adopted. Then item C is a change order amendment to the county contract issued to Kinsey and Kinsey for professional services to perform a security review of the ERP system and make changes to create to make changes or create reports to track COVID expenses. Um, this is extending the contract through April 30th, 2021 with no change to the contract amount. So moved. Second. Second defeated. Great, we have a motion in a second. Any comments, questions, discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, can we have a roll call, please? Probably. Aye. Bellman. Aye. White. Aye. Adams. Aye. Berlin. Aye. Carrier. Aye. Chavez. Aye. Luciani. Aye. Okay. Echo. Aye. Hart. Aye. Henry. Aye. Hendrick. Aye. All aye. Great, thank you. Next up on our agenda is discussion, fiscal year 2021 IT department strategic initiatives. Don? Okay, Wendy, you're gonna share. Okay, so Wendy's sharing the screen. Um, just wanted to go through what our proposed initiatives are, and certainly up to the committee as to whether they want to um, embrace these. And I think most of them we've talked about, they, they're, they're things that you've seen in the past, add, change, delete, anything like that. So certainly take a look at them. The first, uh, the first initiative we have, we've had on, on our, or in our plan for a number of years, uh, we're talking about the implementation of the Tyler, Tyler Tax Administration System. Uh, you can see here that we're just starting the project, the implementation project, expected to take 26 months and um, really no different information than I've given in the past. So. We're working on data migration right now with Tyler, and that's taking uh, a, a large amount of data from the old tax system and then putting it into a new format into the new system. So that's the first initiative. Um, the second one, I think we skipped the five. <laughs> um, second, second initiative is something we always have on our agenda, and that's strengthen county cybersecurity. And this year, we have a number of programs, including some security software, hardware, and training. Training is always the cornerstone of cybersecurity. That's where the breaches come from. Employees click on the wrong link, causes a problem. We have a number of really good systems in place. But we're only as good as our, our training and our employees um, who are on the front line. So that's the second one. When you get third, okay, GIS working in cooperation. Uh, with the Northeast Illinois counties on GIS or around the opioid crisis. This is something that we've been doing for a number of years. GIS is kind of unique in that they, there's a lot of social aspects to GIS in terms of mapping and demographics and linking demographics to maps, linking specific programs to maps. And that's what we're doing here. 
We're working with a lot of counties to do this. There's a number of counties in the area that all do it. We do it in cooperation with them. Um, Greg Hart's been a big proponent here with the Hope Task Force. So it's something where we, you know, show hotspots of what's happening in the county. And we all know it's, there's, there's a lot happening right now. So something that we're, you know, committed to continuing with. Uh, the fourth initiative, shared services around GIS. We have a number of clients that we already uh, work with, Village of Lyle, Woodridge Fire Protection, a number of other taxing districts we do little projects for. We'll continue to do that work and we'll continue to look for other opportunities. So something that we have a larger GIS staff than most municipalities. And for example, Lyle lost their person. So we're doing it a couple of days a week and we charge them for it. We have a rate card that keeps up with current uh, current rates, pay rates, and benefits. So a win-win for everybody. And just so, so everybody knows, any of the new members, we provide the base map for all the municipalities in the county. So there is one map everybody operates off of so that everything is correct in terms of latitude and longitude and you know everything works. So just to let you know, if you're ever out in the wild and people talk about what the county does, one of the really cool things we do for everybody is we do the imagery and we pretty much fly the county every year. So it's very fresh imagery. We have old imagery out there where you can actually take a little wand and go across it and see what's changed. That's how we catch people who build new sheds in their backyard, unfortunately <laughs> for them. Um, so the fifth one is new and that's something we've talked about recently and that's a redesign of the county website. Uh, websites going on 11 years old. Um, it needs a refresh. We've been unable to fund a refresh over the past three or four years that we've been trying to uh, trying to get the project going. So we certainly want to see if, if there's elected official support, determined funding. We may have some federal dollars that may be available through the, any of the new programs that are out there. So it's on uh, Mr. Kottmeyer's list. Uh, so we're looking at that. And then, uh, of course, we'll continue to research and develop uh, specifications in case we can case we can get something going. But we think it's something from what we've heard from other elected officials, something that time to do. And we get a lot of this, we, we do. And so uh, it, it's kind of the front door to the county and we want the door to look, look nice. So comments, concerns, questions, anything, anybody? Uh, Please, Member Relich. Yeah, thank you, Chairwoman. Um, about the buy-in from elected officials. Um, when does that start the lobbying for that? And, and are we already there? And if we are, please put me down for it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we certainly have done it informally. And, and uh, for example, uh, Member Henry has commented that she, she would like to see a refreshed website. Um, I think there are uh, uh, other officials out there. The courts are a big, uh, a big uh, user of the website because people, of course, they come to court rarely. And it's, a lot of times that's one of the things with the county that you see, they don't come here that often. So when they come, they don't know where to park. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. They don't know that they can't bring a cell phone here or do something like that. So, um, it, you know, again, it's a, it's a big thing for us. It's something that... Um, Sorely needed in, in, in a refresh. Exactly. We'll put you down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be on your list. <laughs> Member Deacon Garcia. I was agreeing with Sheila. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I agree as well. I think we I think Don's right. We have some informal consensus, but looking for the funding will be our sort of next step. <laughs> All right. Any further questions on the strategic um, planning updates? All right, seeing none. Our next item is old business. Um, and I would like to ask Don actually to start us with old business, if you don't mind. So I, I guess it's old business because I'm old now, but um, I'm going to retire from the county on May 3rd. So oh, no. just wanted to let you you all know and pleasure working with everybody. Maybe a more dramatic speech to follow. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I may do something more in the future. I, I, um, I think the pandemic has been tough. <laughs> And well, it's in your, I'd like to kind of switch gears a little bit. So I, I again, just wanted to let you know. And uh, again, enjoyed working uh, working with everybody here. It's been a great, great almost 11 years for me. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I think a little round of applause for Don is very much in order there. Yeah. 
All right. Thank you, Don. We're all so excited for you, if not uh, a little bit jealous. <laughs> as, um, and I know as we're sort of looking at your retirement date, we're all hoping that vaccine numbers and rate numbers all collide perfectly so that we can celebrate you in person. Um, I wanted to follow up on, obviously, Don Leaving is going to leave such a uh, hole and one that we will be looking to fill with someone fantastic and I feel confident we'll be able to find that person. Um, but there's some big projects that will be in flux during his transition and while we're onboarding a new person. Um, I'm the new chairwoman of this committee so there's just a lot of change. So one of the things we were discussing this past week um, when Don shared his very exciting retirement information with us was putting together an executive steering committee for the Tyler Technologies Project, getting all the stakeholders from the county in the same room, probably weekly is what we're looking at, um, just to make sure we're not dropping the ball. I know when leadership leaves, sometimes there can be just things that get clunky, and especially being in the data migration section, I am, I was joking with Don earlier this week, how it's sort of giving me like flashbacks to a rather bear of a data migration and new project that we I had done in my career. Um, so for those of you who are stakeholders on this project, I know there's many in this room um, and on the call, please be looking for some information of that coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, but again, just on congratulations. I know we're all so excited for you and we'll be you know, watching what your next steps are, whether that's leisure we'll all be jealous of or some, or some new fancy career. <laughs> Great. Is there anything else under old business? All right, seeing none, do we have any new business? All right, seeing none, can we get a motion to adjourn, please? So moved, DC, Annie. Second. Second, Chavez. Great, right, can we get a roll call, please? DC, Aye. Echon. Aye. Hart. Aye. Henry. Aye. Mendrick. Butledge. Aye. Spellman. Aye. White? Aye. Adams? Aye. Berlin? Berlin, aye. Carrier? Aye. Chava? Aye. All eyes. All right, great. Thank you, everyone. See you in two weeks. Thank you very much.